हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डीएडी में होप आप सभी का प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छे से चल रहा है तो हम कंटिन्यू करते हैं हमारे फिल्म्स रिवीजन सीरीज के साथ तो इस रिवीजन सीरीज में हम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी का लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर का करंट अफेयर्स से करंट अफेयर्स कवर कर रहे हैं तो वी हैव कवर्ड ऑलरेडी ट्वेंटी एट पार्ट्स होप यू हैव सीन ऑल द ट्वेंटी एट पार्ट्स दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेंटी नाइन ऑफ द लेक्चर सीरीज ओके तो इस लेक्चर में हम देखते हैं फर्स्ट कुलशेखर पट्टनम के बारे में वाई दिस फोज इन न्यूज आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द नेशनल डी वार्मिंग डे आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग फंड्स के बारे में आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी महाराष्ट्र यू नो ग्लोबल मेडिकल लीग के बारे में आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द विजिलेंस विंग ऑफ केरला द केरला थर्टीन रुपी प्राइस कैप ऑन वाटर बॉटल आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द नेशनल साइंस डे वेन इट वॉज सेलिब्रेट एंड वॉट इज इट्स थीम आफ्टर दैट हम देखते हैं कैंग्रो मदर केयर के बारे में रेयर डिसीज डे द कंट्री इज फर्स्ट वुमेन ओनली मेडिकल कॉलेज which also offers free medical education which is that medical education institute we will talk about that after that we will talk about the indian science congress after that hum dekhte hain international conference on nano sciences and nano technology icon set ke bare mein after that hum dekhte hain indian international science festival ke bare mein after finally we will see international yoga day 2019 in sab cheezon ke bare mein hum cover karte hain to chaliye shuru karte hain to first the kolasekara patanam in tamil nadu so why this was in news this was in news because uh, recently union government is planning to set up a new rocket launch pad so we already have two rocket launch pads at satish dhawan space center in sri harikota of andhra pradesh we already have two launch pads now we are planning to set up the third launch pad at kolasekara patanam kolasekara patanam in tamil nadu next one the national deworming day the national deworming day is celebrated on 10th february and 10th august okay it was celebrated on these two days it is to fix you know it is used to it is to give the deworming medicines to all the children from the age of 1 to 19 it aims to prioritize investment in the control of the soil transmitted helminth infections soil transmitted helminth infections control karne ke liye hum ye use karte hain next quantum computing funds ke bare mein so recently union government has approved 8000 has proposed 8000 crores for quantum computing mission okay this was announced in the recent budget of 2021 okay so 8000 crores for about 5 years for the quantum computing mission this national mission on quantum computing it was launched to develop various technologies related to quantum computing because as we know quantum computing is going to be the future of computing and uh, this quantum computing comprises of various technologies what are these technologies they are quantum computing quantum communication quantum optics quantum information processing quantum internet and quantum artificial intelligence what all these things we can uh, you know we can have um, we can do some research next one the uh, medical data leak so a global cyber security firm which is a german one the green bomb sustainable resilience so this is a cyber security firm and this has released uh, re- this has released a list a second edition of its uh, pub- report on global medical data leak and uh, india is in the ugly category there are three categories the good bad and the ugly good bad and ugly and india is in the ugly category and if you see in india maharashtra is the state that has a lot of medical leaks over 120 million indian patients data has been leaked and the data includes it varies from uh, the records images of ct scans x ray mri and even pictures of the patients so maharashtra is the top state followed by karnataka so which state comes first it is maharashtra in the medical leaks and second is karnataka india is in the ugly category and this data is released by green bond sustainable resilience institute the green, green bond sustainable resilience cyber security firm of germany next one the vigilance wing for kerala so vigilance wing was recently established in the health department of kerala so this vigilance wing in the health department of kerala is to monitor the private practice by the doctors and crack down on the query so and the query so we will generally we will be seeing a lot of uh, you know false advertisements and false claims by the healthcare companies and all so you know to crack down these things the vigilance department a vigilance wing has been um, in, in has been inaugurated in the health department of kerala The next one, the uh, 13 rupees bottle cap on the sorry, 13 rupees cap on the bottled water was imposed by Kerala recently. So who imposed this? The Kerala has imposed this, and the 13 rupees price cap, it was it was it was uh, you know brought in because water is part of the essential commodities and this enables price control. So what is part of the essential commodities and this enables price control. next one we are talking about the national science day the national science day is celebrated on 28th february 
this is to commemorate the discovery of raman effect the raman effect is discovered by sir c b raman so he was a nobel prize awardee so he discovered the raman effect so the theme for 2020 is women in science so india celebrates national science day on 28th of february and the theme is women in science this is to aim the aim of this theme is to appreciate the contribution of women in the field of science this is to commemorate the raman effect by sir c b raman the national science day next kangaroo mother care the kangaroo mother care is the intervention where babies are placed in skin to skin contact with their mothers and exclusively breastfed this was recommended worldwide by who and various other health agencies for the stable low birth weight newborns so for the stable health of the low birth weight newborns this is recommended so who recommended that it is continued till baby attains a weight of 2.5 kg or till baby's prigals out okay so kangaroo mother care this this why this is called kangaroo mother care is the kangaroo if we, if we see the kangaroo pouch the baby will be there the baby will be there for a long time so as the contact will be there between the baby and the mother continuously so this type of care is called kangaroo mother care next is the rare disease day the rare disease day is observed on 29th of february 29th of february is the day when the rare disease day is observed the united ministry of health and family welfare Uh, you know this has published a new national policy for the treatment of 450 rare diseases the financial so there are different kinds of rare diseases the first is one that require a one time treatment the one time treatment the second one is first is one time treatment that means a single uh, you know with once with a single treatment the cure, the cure can be found out this is, even though it's a rare disease second is long time treatment the long term treatment and this long term treatment also there are two kinds there are two kinds one is there are one is that which you know which requires less money that which is less expensive less expensive and second one is more expensive okay so financial assistance of 15 lakhs will be provided to the patients suffering from rare disease and requires one time treatment under the rashtriya aarogya nidhi scheme rashtriya aarogya nidhi scheme this will be used the treatment will be limited to the beneficiaries of pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana under this under this the treatment will be done so the national policy was announced on the rare disease by union minister of health and family welfare and uh, uh, when it was celebrated it's a, it was observed on february 29th the national rare disease day on february 29th so next one the country's first women only medical college will offer free medical education this country's first women only medical college it is going to be started by the symbiosis symbiosis university in pune so the symbiosis medical college for women will be started and the medical education will be free over here next one indian science congress the 107th indian science congress was recently held at the university of agricultural sciences in bengaluru karnataka and the theme is science and technology for rural development is the theme for 2020 it is organized by indian science congress association and it is organized in the first week of january every year the first such association the first such congress was held in 1914 in calcutta and this now has a membership of more than 30000 scientists okay this is the annual conference of the various scientists next one international conference on nano science and tech nano technology so this was held at kolkata so this was held at kolkata under the aegis of national nano mission and under the department of science and technology okay so this mission on nano science and technology was launched in 2007 it is launched in 2007 it is an umbrella capacity building program it's an umbrella program and this will target scientists institutions and industry in the country it will target all these people next one is the indian international science festival iisf indian international science festival it is the fifth indian international science festival and it was held at kolkata okay it was held at kolkata and the objective is to instill scientific temper among the masses and showcase india's contribution in the field of science and technology it is organized by science and technology related ministries and departments of the government of india and the theme is rise in india the rise in means research innovation science and empowering of the nation Indian International Science Festival it was held at Kolkata <coughs> next one the international yoga day the, uh, the yoga day was celebrated on june 21 every year june 21 every year and the theme for 2019 is yoga for climate action and the theme for 2020 is yoga for health yoga at home 
because 2020 is a corona year and uh, most of the people are staying at home and easily the theme for 2020 is yoga for health and yoga at home and this day aims to create an awareness worldwide on the importance of staying fit and healthy staying fit and healthy okay so now let's revise what we have studied till now first we talked about kulshekara patanam where a third launch pad is going to be you know it's going to be set up the two launch pads currently are there at Sri Hari Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Hari Kota. Next, we are talking about the National Dewarming Day. The National Dewarming Day is celebrated, is observed annually. It's a biannual uh, event. It's uh, observed on 10th of February and 10th of August every year. It is to control the soil transmitted helminth infections. Next, we talked about the quantum computing funds. The rupees 8000 crores has been allocated to the quantum computing technologies for a term of five years. So this will be used for the National Quantum Computing Mission. And next, uh, it's about the Global Medical Data Leak and this is released by the Greenborn Sustainable Resilience which is a German cyber security firm and this has released the data. Okay, so this is the second edition of such a report and uh, uh, India is placed in the ugly category. India is placed in the ugly category and the key findings is that about 120 million Indian patients data has been leaked and Maharashtra has topped the list. And Maharashtra has topped the list. Okay, followed by Karnataka. Next one, the vigilance wing was uh, started recently in the Kerala Health Department. So this is to crack down uh, the, the, and monitor the malpractices done by various private doctors. Okay. Next one, uh, 13 rupees price cap on the bottled water is imposed by the Kerala government because water is part of the essential commodities and this enables price control. Next one, National Science Day is celebrated on 28th of February every year. It is to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect. National Science Day on 28th February every year. And the theme for 2020 is Women in Science, which aims to appreciate the contribution of women in the field of science and technology. Next, we talked about the mother, kangaroo mother care. The kangaroo mother care, it is the intervention where babies are placed in the skin to skin contact with the mothers uh, and they are exclusively best breastfed. This is for uh, the babies who are you know, born with low weight and until they attain a weight of 2.5 kg the who recommend this okay this is about the kangaroo mother care next is about the rare disease day celebrated on 29th of february and india recently has announced a national policy for the treatment of 450 rare diseases there are three kinds of rare diseases first is one time treatment long term treatment which is less expensive and the long term treatment which is more expensive okay next one the country's first women only medical college which offers free medical education established by the symbiosis university in pune symbiosis university in pune next one indian science congress was recently held at bangalore karnataka and uh, the theme is science and technology for rural development it's the 107th indian science congress science congress was will be held every year in the first week of january it was started in 1914 in calcutta Next one, the International Conference on Nano Science and Technology was recently held at Calcutta in Kolkata. That's why this was the news. Next is uh, Indian International Science Festival. This festival was held at Kolkata. This is to instill scientific temper among the masses, showcase India's contribution in the field of science and technology. It is jointly organized by Science and, uh, Te science and Technology Department and the ministries. Okay. Next one. Okay. So that's it, friends, in this lecture. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Till then, keep studying and stay tuned. Jai Hind.